big, big national exclusive. And on day six of the Chandrayaan-3 mission, very, very honored to be joined live from the ISRO headquarters in Bengaluru by Dr. Somnath and his entire team from the Chandrayaan-3 program. Uh, good evening, Dr. Somnath. So lovely to have you with us. Thank you for your time, and I know you're busy, uh, but it's been a momentous uh, few days. It's six days since the launch. The Prime Minister also was there just a few days ago to honor all of you on Saturday. Uh, I know you can't talk in detail about what's happening on the moon right now because everything is being analyzed. We just saw those beautiful images of the Pragyan, which I'll come to in a moment. But I'd like to start, uh, uh, because you did want to speak about this, Dr. Somnath, about how you and your team felt to be honored by the Prime Minister on Saturday morning. How special was that for you? Uh, us, uh, thank you for this opportunity. So all of you know that we wanted our Honorable Prime Minister on the day of the landing itself. Uh, of course, uh, you know that he was out of the country uh, and the date cannot be changed as well, the landing day, because it is the day of beginning of the uh, no, daytime of the moon. So it uh, had to be like that. But then he joined us uh, virtually yeah. from uh, South Africa. Uh, with, that was so gracious, graceful for, uh, for us to watch him on the screen and then and uh, we explaining all that to him and immediately after that he addressed us and congratulated us and he offered us that he will be coming here and then uh, spending time with us basically to congratulate us and all of us were elated by his presence as uh, all of uh, you know that he is he has a magical presence especially when you you know interact with him and he is so uh, very vocal about what we did uh, our contributions for us. And he also said, very sorry for being uh, inviting all of you so early in the morning to assemble for <laughs> yeah. this meeting. And he blamed it on himself that uh, he, uh, because of him that you people have to suffer. Then I said that this is a culture of Israel that we work here for hours together. We don't uh, go home that easily. So that's okay. Uh, and he was uh, congratulating us uh, and also telling uh, that uh, the work done by Israel is very inspirational. And mm. it must be a message to the new generation of people that are they are intended to do, take up science, engineering, and exploration in the future. So we look we look for his advice, his vision, and also wanted to hear a very much congratulatory message from him. And it's not for those people in Chandrayaan three alone; it's for the entire ISRO because we are into many many tasks. Many teams are working across, and everybody need a little bit of words of praise for their you know very Indeed. personally. Uh, you know, uh, personal contributions and sacrifices they make. So we were very thankful for that from the highest leader of this country. Dr. Somnath, you know, one of the big announcements that the Prime Minister made, and, uh, you, you know, we, we are still letting all of that sink in while we see all these beautiful images being, uh, you know, being released by ISRO on a daily basis, and we consume it with a great deal of anticipation, uh, is the declaration of August 23rd, the day you and your amazing team landed uh, on the uh, South Pole of the Moon, creating space history as National Space Day. That's been declared. What went through your mind when that announcement was made by the Prime Minister? Yes, I think that's great. We have been celebrating only World Space Week so far, which is a global mm -hmm. space week, uh, where, uh, which celebrates the accomplishment of nations other than us. Now there is a day that uh, celebrates the accomplishment of India. I think this is something very, very personal, something very much uh, to our heart. And we look forward for celebration from next year onwards on how to celebrate 23rd of August uh, as the National Space Day, as much as vigor and energy as we celebrate the October 4th to 10th the World Space Week as well. So we can't it's wait. something very unique that uh, we uh, we have set. And, it's, yeah. and you understand that it's, though it is National Space Day, it is for the entire, entire uh, world. Because uh, going there, we are the first. I think we must have our space, uh, place in the history of the world. And honestly, uh, Dr. Zomar, can't wait to see how ISRO celebrates its first National Space Day next year. So we're all going to be waiting for that. Uh, you know, the other thing, the other thing that was announced uh, when the Prime Minister came, to, uh, you know, and visited you on Saturday was the declaration of the landing points. Uh, you know, there was a, a lot of suspense. People didn't know what the landing point was going to be named. Would the Prime Minister reveal it? Would you and your team be revealing it? Uh, you know, Shiv Shakti was named, uh, the, the landing point was named Shiv Shakti. Uh, uh, did you know about it in advance or was that a surprise when the Prime Minister brought it out? 
of those uh, prerogatives for naming this uh, has to be given to only uh, Modi ji. Uh, though we know a little bit of about it, but the real decision is made by him as well. So mm. uh, I am not fully aware of uh, what was in his mind before he decided, because these are very Indian names, uh, which uh, he elaborated on them, why, why, why it is significant. Yeah. And he connected the Shiva Shakti to the contribution of the women. And right on my side, we have the associate project director Kalpana. Uh, it works with the Shiva Shakti. So we, they are there. <laughs> so it only shows the type of message that he is trying to give through this uh, naming. And Tiranga, of course, is very important because Tiranga is the name of Indian flag. And the Indian is about the flag. Now it comes naturally without causing any other negative emotions. So for everybody, it is acceptable. So that type of uh, naming, uh, it's very unique that he can only conceive. And, and since you mentioned it as Shiv Shakti, the, 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 one of the most evocative images that we saw there, Dr. Somnath, uh, uh, you know, was the Prime Minister and yourself interacting with the entire community of women scientists of ISRO, uh, which has always been something so, uh, to be so completely proud of. Those images of those amazing scientists have gone completely viral everywhere. It's been an eye-opener so, uh, you know, to so many people at so many levels. Uh, Dr. Kalpana is sitting next to you. She's an associate director uh, in the Chandra Rayan 3 program. Uh, Ma'am, Dr. Kalpana, if I could come to you, if you can hear me, how did you feel specifically being honored by the Prime Minister on Nari Shakti? Thank you. And uh, it was very inspiring. And our Honorable Prime Minister had uh, taken this as the first task immediately after reaching our country. He wanted to meet us and congratulate us. This itself shows, indicates how much he's uh, uh, interested in the uh, uh, task completed by our ISRO team. So it was so inspiring. I think, I think uh, uh, what those images have done in terms of sending a message out uh, to Indians everywhere and to people everywhere is uh, that uh, this kind of thing is completely normal for ISRO. 30% of, you know, of the community in ISRO is comprised by women, so it's really no big deal to see top-level women scientists in ISRO. Uh, many people in ISRO have been wondering why this has been going viral because this is so completely normal for people like you. But, uh, you know, the other big, the big news coming out today, Dr. Somnath, which is something that India Today had actually reported a few days ago, uh, with the upcoming projects, there's no rest for you and your team. You're busy with Chandrayaan 3. The Pragyan is sending us back those uh, images, uh, uh, you know, on a daily basis now hopefully, uh, but you've got the Aditya L1 mission to the sun that's uh, blasting off this Saturday. You've got Gaganyan after that. So no rest for any of you, sir. I, I realize that after so many years of service in Israel, the pressure is something that is good for us. Uh, yeah. It keeps us uh, you know, motivated to uh, do better. Uh, and uh, I believe that all those who are joining Israel are a you know, little bit trained on handling this part of it. Uh, and when, when there was no you know, difficulty of working during the COVID time, actually we got frustrated. Not, mm. not because of that there is no, that we are unable to go to office. And many people were coming somehow to office to do work. This is the type of change. And most of us work during COVID time, but except for the industry support, we could have done much better. So today, after the COVID and after the space sector being very active today, we are, we are really enjoying the, the task ahead of us and uh, having many more missions to come. And you would have heard that satellites, uh, three satellites got ready in just one month. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's something that we are ready to do. And rocket people are also very happily assembling at least three rockets simultaneously at Sadir Saman Space Center. It, uh, it has not happened before. Yeah. So the uh, we all realized in my early days of ISRO, the culture has not changed. We always believe that every individual has a capacity far beyond that you ever thought. Uh, that uh, you can actually excel in do things which is uh, uh, that you have been somehow trained in your mind that this is your limit. I think there is nothing like that. Ordinary people can really accomplish extraordinary things provided you are motivated enough. You have uh, a, a fire burning inside. I think that's what is happening in this book. Dr. Somnath, last two questions. This is something my viewers have wanted uh, to ask me to ask you, which is how do space scientists with such high pressure jobs de-stress? How do you de-stress? Ultimately, all of us are human beings, and uh, they all need have the similar psychology. I have no other medicine for them uh, <laughs> than what is general. Uh, all of you, even even media people, have enough of pressures. So you know how to unwind. But our method of unwinding here are little more different. 
uh, I believe that individuals, they find their own ways. Uh, there is no partying. There is no, uh, uh, no social, that so-called social life. I think this part is actually <laughs> yeah. very, very less in amongst destroyed. They find more solace in reading. They may find in uh, meeting families. They will find uh, better measures by you know, unwinding through music and fine arts. I, I, those uh, I know, I think they all found some other passion of studying something else than what you are doing. Sometimes language, sometimes music, sometimes art forms. And all of them are very fanda fantastically talented people around. I have seen that. So creativity is one way of unwinding I, other than what you do technically. I think this is one thing I understood. Uh, this is for majority of the people. I can always yeah. say that uh, come and report to majority. Final question before I let you go, Dr. Somnath, is, you know, when the Vikram landed, an old video of yours, you know, really dancing it up on a dance floor have gone viral. It's an old video. It's not related to Chandrayaan 3. But everybody is now of the opinion that you can be a space hero and you can have fantastic moves on the dance floor. What do you have to say about that? We were also young ones. So don't yeah. forget about that. <laughs> you will always be young considering, uh, you know, what you've achieved, what you've inspired in all Indians. All I can say is we wish you the best. May you stay forever young and may you continue to inspire. All the very best for the rest of Chandrayaan 3 and all the very best for Aditya L1, Gaganyaan and beyond. Team Chandrayaan led by Dr. Somna. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us here on India Today.